Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name is Tyrone. Today I have these to show you. It's the last wave of 2023 Matchbox Mainline. I won't tell you what wave or mix I think it is because every time I do, uh, somebody in the comments says, no, no, it's not that one, it's this one. What difference does it make if it's the last one? 1986 Ford F-150 in it, number 84, 100. It's actually, I think, 103 this year, just like last year, and uh, pretty much every year before this, I've had some extras. And even in some years, uh, things didn't turn up, but they squeezed them into the lineup the following year. It's all very confusing. There's the back of the card, not very interesting, so that's the last one I'll show you. But here we have a new casting in the F-150. 1986. It seems like a 70s shape, it probably was. This is before we went all efficient. I noticed uh, when I was ogling it through the plastic bubble blister that it seems to have been given two fuel tanks back in the day when instead of saying we'll make it more efficient, they said Yes, this year's F-150 is much heavier, but look at all the fuel you can put in it. <laughs> so, um, therefore, who cares about miles per gallon or whatever you call them over there. Ford on the tailgate. That's very 60s, isn't it? Those huge letters across the back. I know Toyota still do it. And in fact, Toyota is slamming big letters across the front of their Land Cruisers at the moment. I'm not happy about that. Takes some getting used to, but most new things are. I think it's uh, more jarring when the new thing is actually what you see as a ripoff from an old thing and uh, people's reaction to it is like, oh I don't like the new one. Yeah, but it's old. So is this, 1986. I like it. It's fresh. It's new. What else could you hope for? Mazda CX-5, 51 of 100 in gold with blacked out wheels. Yep. Smoked windows, not too deeply tinted. Because if you do get an interior, you want to see it. And you do get an interior. Master on the license plate, badging, lights, back and front. That'll go nicely with the other colours. Good. Um, I had to rummage to see if this was a new casting. It's not. I'll show you the others in a second. 2018 Toyota Hilux 94 of 100 in an off-white. I like the uh, card art on these. It's really nice. Normally I'd show you them in power grab fashion, but um, not always. But this time it's on the cards. Yeah, I was surprised that they did this off-white. Um, even the Lexus was a closer to the Toyota white. It's moving parts, and uh, that's really the Toyota white. It's a very crisp white. but. Not this time. Looks a little more classy in the off-white, but it looks a little less likely that you'd take it off-road, but then most of these don't. They're all very shiny, aren't they, when you see them? Do we need to go down a little? I think we do. That's better. Uh, before that, they gave it to us in a deep red and also a nice green. Very nice. So we'll get the star of the show for that one there. And then we'll get on with this one. Now this will be issued, or has been issued, in the Power Grabs box. You wouldn't think it would fit, but it does. It's the SpaceX Dragon. Very different card. There is no number to this one. Uh, it's just sort of a special thing. What's the back looking like? That's it there. Oh, they're saying 8 of 100. 
I'll have to query that. Ah, that might be a mystery solved because I'm lining up to do a um, end of year all in video. Everything they gave us in mainline. Here's the card art. I've just finished ogling it. Now to the recycling bin it goes. Oh, so very nose heavy. That's interesting. Does that come off? Oh, it does too. Hey, look at that. Ha! Can you imagine turning up for work that day and you'd be sitting there strapped in? <laughs> or maybe you'd turn up that night because they usually launch in the morning, don't they? That's really nice, actually. That's, I'm surprised. Yeah, imagine turning up for work and sitting there being all strapped in and waiting for that countdown to start and you'd be thinking, ah, oh, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> hope everyone knows what they're doing. That's actually quite nice. When I first saw it on social media that it was coming out, I thought, oh, really? I like it. I'm not sure we'll get any uh, variants, any different colours, but Matchbox has been doing the space thing forever, haven't they? There was that. There was things before that. In turn of millennium, they were doing this sort of thing. Um, it was very popular. Popular, popular around 2000 when everyone was questioning why we're on Earth and why on Earth we're on Earth and how many of us have been abducted. And now we're looking at abducting others by going out there and looking for them. Yeah, but I like it. That's, that's uh, quite surprising that I like that. Moving right along, 26 of 100, we've seen this many times, the, tw the 2016 Ford Interceptor Utility, I just changed the police uh, livery, all the better for it. I'm not sure if I like the black ones uh, better than the white ones, it depends, depends uh, what's on the table. There's five black ones that look very mean, but there again, you wouldn't want anything like this chasing you on the freeway, would you? Unless that's your thing. I've heard that uh, a lot of the police chases um, are kind of a result of the perp, the one running, um, wants to be on TV, so when he winds up in the slammer, all his mates can give him high fives as to how much mess he, he created. It's uh, quite a cynical way to live, but, you know. Dog dish wheels, or poverty dish wheels, whatever you call them. Uh, we'll skip across this one fairly quickly because I don't like it, I'll be honest. Ground breaker, or ground grabber, 27 of 100. Maybe you collect them. Mm. Let's have a look. I collect them by default because I need to get all 100 each year to do the videos, but um, it's not something I'm going to do. Probably looks better that way, actually. Do I like it now? No. Um, yeah. Mm. All right. If I had one in real life, I'd be quite chuffed because I've got a big backyard that laughs at my attempts with a shovel. That'd teach it, wouldn't it? Monarch EV Tractor, 69 of 100. Mm -hmm. Looks a bit more like a lawnmower, but anyway. It's a new casting. They can't all be supercars, that's what I say. Yeah. Yeah. One arc tractor on the base. I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to come up with something positive about it, but I'm not there yet. One arc on the roof, it's clearly a um, uh, licensed vehicle. <laughs> Tombstone steering wheel. Try and get your knees in around that when you sit in there. Mm. Will a fleet of them look better? Not sure about that. We'll hide it behind the rocket. Hey, a Volvo XC40, number eight, um, 85 of 100. 
I looked for this to see if it was a new custom or not. I can't find any others, so I do a picture and picture up here if you like um, of all the Volvo castings I could find. But here we have the XC40. The Chinese make Volvo now. I'm always bemused when I haven't uh, been quick enough to reach for the mute button and I see an ad with Volvo being advertised and it's um, a chick with a Swedish accent but you know that's not what happens now it's a nice looking unit Volvo XC40 on the base 2022 copyright suggesting it is a new casting and I wasn't just being a bit blind this morning and they're going for the uh, not white, but not not quite white. A lot of them. It's a fancy paint job. More sophisticated, isn't it? Who else? You, Jeep Avenger. I'm pretty sure this is a new casting too. Number nine of one hundred in bright yellow, canary yellow. Anything bright yellow used to be called canary yellow, and then if you grab a canary and put it up against this, it looks nothing like it. Uh, blacked out windows, so possibly no interior. 2023 Jeep Avenger on the base, looking good with the contrast. There is that plasticky sound though. I got a comment as I was setting up the, the uh, studio this morning about uh, not liking that plasticky sound compared to the old stuff. And point well taken, I get it. International Workstar number 39 of 100, and we have the Forest Ranger, not National Parks. I thought this was uh, some kind of Arabic writing, then I realized it's flames, but you don't often see a fire engine with flames on the side. <laughs> Maybe I haven't been around long enough. <laughs> or maybe I'm, I'm in the wrong kind of fire district. But there it is, the flames on the side. Number 43, fire rescue on the side. Great big stonking vehicle. International work star on the metal base. But a lot of plastic there. Uh, new casting. The Bronco is going smaller and smaller, and soon it will be smaller than the Mini 2022 Ford Bronco Sport in the number 10, and a very muted pastel. <laughs> oh, here we see again that kind of all plastic roof. It's a new way that they're doing quite a few castings this year have that going on. It's almost a half casting. You know, the sort of midsection is the metal and everything else below and above is plastic. I'll call it the baby Bronco. They probably already are. Bronco Sport. Hmm. It's a nice colour, but something to get used to, I think. Is that the reversing camera below that handle? Maybe. Hmm. I like the shape. Probably will never see one in real life, unless I go to the States or Canada again for a holiday. I'll be old news by the time I get there, I think. Number 47 of 100, Moon Eyes is back. 35 forward pickup. And I've got a moving parts that will go really nicely with this one. I thought this came out in the collectors with Moon Eyes, but I couldn't find it when I was rummaging. But here's the moving parts I did find. Cool, huh? Yeah mean looking thing been around since 2018 or 2019 I'm supposing was the first one we saw 
There's a couple of, uh, like the bone shaker and things like that. They're similar but not the same. Like the Chevy version. That's cool. Whoops. Very good. And I've left this till last because uh, this is a highlight for me, randomly. MBX field car, 28 of 100 in black this time. I always wonder, and I, I'm already wondering, uh, what the next colour is going to be. And I just find it such a cool thing. And after the video, I line them all up in their respective drawers. And I smile down upon them. And then turn my attention to, I wonder what the next colour is going to be. But here we have black. That looks cool. Bit of a paint issue there, but which is rare these days. They get the paint right almost all the time, and that's certainly not a thing they did, especially in the 80s. The uh, paint jobs quite often really a bit rotten. So you've got the fuel cap tampered handle, the matchbox on the side, nothing on the back and the front, it is a main line, but I like that. Sweet. And uh, those nice accented rims. I like that. Shove them over there. Here's a big stonking four wheel drive, allegedly. Not when you get it next to a full size uh, F 150 <laughs> or F 350, maybe. Look like a, a soft rotor, but I like it. What a strange lineup. Look at that. Here you go. Not totally neglecting the lawnmower. So there you have it, the final wave of Matchbox Mainline for 2023. It's been a wild year for new castings and recolors, a few reissues, but not that many, surprisingly, this year. Huge amount of new castings. It's been fun. I'll do a uh, full review wrap up coming up uh, in the weeks ahead with all, I think, 103 plus variants. You'll see it all. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.